Auto captions have been great in DaVinci Resolve. You just select an in and out point of the section you want to add captions to. You go to timeline, create subtitles from audio. If you want to have these captions like pop one after the other, just set a maximum characters per line to one, which will mean one word. I have a much more detailed video right here or here. So now we have the auto captions ready. But as we all know, we don't have a lot of animation settings. As you can see, we, we cannot add keyframes. The workaround was to copy and paste all individual captions into a text plus file and then edit them in the text plus effect. And this is where this awesome free tool comes into play. It's created by this guy, Orson Lord. It's his actual real name. And I'll leave a link down in the comments. It has a little bit of interesting way of, it's basically a script that you need to add to DaVinci Resolve. And here's how you do it. Once you download your file, you get this snapcatch captions.lua file. This file you need to copy and then go to library, application support, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve. Then scroll down to Fusion and then all the way down to Scripts and here in the Comp folder, copy and paste the Snap Captions script. This is all just for uh, Mac. I don't have a Windows. It's probably the same folder that you need to copy and paste to. Once we have this over with, we're back in DaVinci Resolve. You have your captions, you go in the effects panel and add in a text plus effect. And then here in this text plus effect, you can do whatever you want. You can also go to this website called The Font, a lot of cool, free to use, free to download fonts for you as well. Then come up with any style you want or add some animation. So once we're done with that, you go ahead and create a new folder called snap captions. Then you place your text plus file into the snap captions folder. After that, go to workspace, scripts, comp, and snap captions. Here under source, you're gonna have the subtitle one track selected, which means it will take the subtitles that we just made. And then under text plus template, it will have the text plus that we just created. If you have multiple, here from this drop down menu, you can choose which template you wanna use. In customization, you can make the case conversion to, to lowercase, to uppercase, to capitalize all words, whatever you need. I'll set it to capitalize all words. I also like to remove punctuation because that's not necessary in the shorts, TikToks, whatever. Here, Lord himself placed a YouTube tutorial if there's still something that you don't understand. Hit on generate. It actually disables the subtitle track for you, which is pretty cool. And you have your subtitles done. So this tool saves quite a lot of time. Big thumbs up to this guy for making it. It's absolutely free, but hey, if you still don't know all the nitty gritty about the auto captions in DaVinci Resolve, you can check my video out and yeah, subscribe.